Hey, my beautiful friends. Thanks so much for tuning in. So on this video, I wanted to share with you what our morning basket will look like for the new school year, 2019-2020, and uh, future changes that will happen after baby gets bigger. So if you're new to my channel, I'm expecting a baby in mid-July. And so um, I'm simplifying things at least for the first few months so that we can get used to our new um, routine and so forth with the baby. So this is a simpler morning time basket until we get um, our routine going with our new baby. And so I wanted to show you what I have planned. Okay, so um, first things first is our um, devotional time. It usually happens around morning time. Um, so for our devotional, I have the tablet here to remind me to talk about it because I don't have an actual book. But let me just show you in my tablet. Okay, so for our devotional time, and this is going to be sprinkled throughout, not every day, but for our devotional time, we want to go back to doing this book. It's called If I Could Ask God Anything. I actually had the hard copy of this book, but um, I gave it to a friend who really needed a book for a devotional. So I just love that this has a question for an answer for everything and is very biblical. Um, so if I could ask God anything, it's just basic questions that kids will normally ask and it's all in categories by God, about Jesus, about the Bible, the Holy Spirit, and uh, Christianity, prayer, anything that I would uh, want to discuss with my, kid is, my kiddos, the church, I would go in here and we would uh, just look into the question and just talk about it. Um, being a Christian uh, forever and ever and big questions. It even has big questions. So I love this. Totally recommended, and um, we're going to be sprinkling this throughout our homeschool year. Because I also have this that I want to get back to. Now, when I started this, um, I just went too big, too fast, too soon. <laughs> uh, this is Ruth 6, 6, the trip through the six, six books of the Bible. And the way they recommend you to do it is like having a lap book. They want you to do like a whole route or like a, a road scenery and it's just basically like a whole route and road theme about traveling through uh the 66 books of the bible so i was trying to get really deep into it and it just became a little bit too much so i stopped it but this is such a great just discussion and kind of like i'm gonna take it into very little like very few um pieces here and there i'm not gonna do the whole thing exactly how it is but i want to go book by book and just discuss main parts of um, that book and not just worry about hitting every single thing perfectly which is what happened um, when I first started last year so I'm gonna go back to it we're gonna read some verses we're gonna talk about the main discussion of that book some main topics or just the main um, what the book is about um, and then uh, just discuss some questions and if I want the kids to do the activities I'll have them do the activities but my main focus is to just break down each book and talk about the main reason for the book, the author, the idea, um, and the inspired um, story behind the book and so forth. Okay, now the one thing that I enjoy the most about our morning time is unit studies. I love focusing on unit studies on my morning time. And so I received these letters. This is a history letter, letter <laughs> that comes in the mail and it's for um, a historian that has changed the world and the letters from him it's called the heritage letter i've talked about this before um and i plan to do an actual in-depth review soon but this one is on george washington carver which is my newest letter and we get to do books about it activities that come with the website from where you order from and i met this mama on instagram i'm gonna link her down below i just absolutely love the concept behind this and basically you just kind of learn about one historian each month. We've already done Henry Hudson. We've also done uh, John James Adam Pond with this letter. So this is another great way to incorporate history in a fun way and on my morning time. So I shared my main history for JL. I've also shared what I'm doing for Jonah, who's my first grader. Um, and this is gonna be something that I do with both to learn together um, and just kind of enjoy a unit study on this one particular um, person. And when I'm not doing this, I'll share what I'm doing next. Also continuing with our Passport to Adventures, which we absolutely enjoy and love. This is a curriculum based on the Magic Tree House that I've shared here. I've done a curriculum review, so I'll also link down, uh, that down below. But this is a, such a fun curriculum, and I love that everything is laid out for me. We have 
activities that we can do on the internet. We have a Pinterest board, videos to watch. There's game recommendations and so forth. So everything is very simple for me to do. I just read from here. I find books about Africa or the safari. And I add those books to our read aloud in the morning time and uh, then do the activities. My kids really look forward to this. They enjoy it so much. We've done about 11 books already and we're going to pick up on uh, book 11 uh, when we start a new year in September. So this will be what I will be doing when I'm not doing the history letter. So again, the history letter is one letter a month. So this is going to be uh, like a one week study. We'll dig, dive in. We'll go as far as we are interested in going in, and we'll just learn all about that one character, and then we'll do the Magic Tea House the following week, So uh, until we wait for the next letter, so which is a perfect setup for my morning time basket. And I also wanted to incorporate these two here because we are doing a lot of, um, uh, like, Africa. We're going to be doing Africa, China. We're going to do a couple of uh, countries this year with our uh, Passport to Adventures. I wanted to include this here. I've been having this book for quite some time. I love it. I used it for jail second grade. And so we're doing Windows on the World. Once in a while, just going to open up to a country. And I also want to say that I'm trying to do the Universal Yums <laughs> as my morning time. Or just as um, time with um, my family. So because my morning time basket sits on my table here on my kitchen table, uh, we could also do some uh, afternoon basket time with my uh, husband. So I want to do Universal Yums. We're looking into doing a yearly subscription. I've heard so many great things about Universal Yums that I'm just like, I need to do this. So my husband looked into it. He really wants to do it too. I think it will be fun to do it together. Tanya from Happy um, Project Happy Home actually does it with her husband and her kids as a poetry time, which I think is such a great idea. So I want to incorporate this book here, have it ready for when we also have Universal Yums um, and just have it here up here with us and enjoy learning about that country. Um, and again, this I can incorporate with um, my Passport to Adventures so we look up Africa and learn a little bit about Africa and then pray because I love that it has a prayer uh, suggestion here for each country. That's my favorite part. And this is such a great curriculum to have, period. Okay, and then this one also is a Smart Kids Picture Atlas. I just put this here because I have it. Um, my uh, friend gave it to me, and it would just be good to just look into it a little bit um, about that country. Just something else that it has here. It has uh, learn how to say hello in that language. It also has essential facts about every country, and then discover that different countries, what different countries are famous for. Super simple. Uh, we allow to do with the kiddos maybe five minutes on each country with this little book and it's just a great resource to have as well all right guys so that's what i'm planning to do for my morning time basket for the new school year um i do want to say that i'm going to incorporate my 10 year old a lot more and help me out um because we mamas tend to want to do everything ourselves but seriously you guys the kids love helping if the kids love helping why not use them right so i'll have jl read while i'm feeding the baby or if the baby's fussy or whatever we'll try to do um, this together as a family so we can actually get something done but yes yeah, so I am planning to use JL more in guiding me through or guiding Jonah and JJ into the activities he can totally be a big help for me um, and so I'm not putting all the pressure on myself with the new baby so we're gonna take this one step at a time and just enjoy um, the new baby also as well I do want to say that come November I will have a new um, devotional that I cannot wait until it comes out if you guys know we have been enjoying indescribable by Louis Giglio and we almost finished with all the um, devotionals we just have the human body ones because I saved those when we were doing the human body um, study unit that I'm doing for the next year um, so but in November there's a new one coming out from the same creator of indescribable it's called how great is our god and it comes out in november this year so i cannot wait you guys i'm looking forward to this new devotional i absolutely love and adore indescribable so much he did such a great job putting it together and we learned science and just so much fun so um i'm looking forward so i just gave you something if you didn't know about it i'm hoping that now you're excited too with me if you're enjoying indescribable as well so that will be the new devotional for november it's in my 
cart already on my Amazon and I cannot wait. So anyways, thank you so much for watching you guys. If this was fun for you to watch or if you enjoyed this, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and talk to me in the comments. Let me know if you have anything similar to what I'm doing for your morning time basket and I will see you on the next video.